Hello, I'm Bill. As you're aware, there's a severe shortage in personal protective equipment here in the United States and around the world caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. I read articles and watched videos of people doing what they can to fill that gap. I've talked to many of my health worker friends, and unfortunately some of them are forced to reuse PPE. Others are wearing bandanas, others are wearing homemade do-it-yourself cotton face masks. Really, something is better than nothing is what I've been hearing from them. Every time I speak with them, they say something is better than nothing. And with that in mind, I thought, what if, what if we can make that something better? What if we can use everyday household materials to make our do-it-yourself homemade face masks even better, offering more protection, thereby increasing the probability that we'll make it through another day or another shift? And with that in mind, I created a protective shell that goes over your do-it-yourself protective um, equipment. Here it is. It's a protective shell made from a heavyweight paper. Different materials have different properties. And the idea behind it is you put it over your do-it-yourself protective equipment. By combining the two, you make the whole stronger. So let me demonstrate. So this is my face. I'm completely exposed, as you see. There's no PPE at all. When I breathe, I can feel my breath. And so when someone breathes on me, or if I'm walking through a, a respiratory cloud, then my face is completely exposed. I have no protection whatsoever. Now, let me put on a do-it-yourself PPE. I'll use a scarf. So here I am. I'm putting on my do-it-yourself PPE. It's a scarf. And let me try breathing. I can still feel my breath. And so it does offer some protection because if, if I'm walking through a, a cloud of uh, respiratory droplets, or if, if someone coughs or someone sneezes, some of that respiratory, some of the respiratory droplets will fall onto this mask and not get through. But because I could feel my breath, it's likely that I can inhale as well. So let's take a look at this protective shell here. And so the idea is I put it over my do-it-yourself PPE. Let's see. There we go. And it covers, it covers my face. As you can hear, my, 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 my voice is a bit muffled. So I'll try, and here's a look here, here's a look here, and here's a look in the bottom. So it covers, it adds an additional layer of protection to my to my, to my do-it-yourself PPE. So whether it's a cotton face mask or a ski mask, etc., it adds this additional layer. So I'll try blowing. I can't feel my breath because it's blocked by the shell. And likewise, if there's a respir if I'm walking through a respiratory cloud or someone's coughing or sneezing, the impact, it falls on the surface of this outer shell, thereby protecting my nose and my mouth. And the great thing is it's disposable. So once, if there is a respiratory event, I can throw it away and I can make a lot of them. So this is the protective shell. So the big idea behind the protective shell is that it provides a, a barrier to respiratory droplets, whether it's coming from the, from the inside out or the outside in. So this barrier between the two traps or, 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 or blocks the respiratory droplets from escaping. So if I was to sneeze while wearing this, the sneeze would be absorbed here and there would be less, um, less dispersion. So by combining the two, the, the dispersion event will be minimized or less, or, or less broadly, um, a little less broad, if you will. So, and if there's a dispersion event, so say someone was sneezing onto me in close proximity, this barrier blocks it from getting into, into my face. So if I only have one layer, sometimes this will, this over time by wearing it the whole day, it'll get moist. So here we go again. So that's the big idea is, is really to minimize those dispersion of the impact of the dispersion events. Um, so I, cr I created this, this protective shell with a few criteria in mind. One, it had to be very inexpensive. Uh, or free, so freely uh, available material. So inexpensive, 
widely available materials. So this is made from heavyweight recycled paper. I made it from a paper bag. But I also have, I've made prototypes with double layers of um, certain weights of paper. So the, the paper bag prototype, the reason behind it, it's, it creates this, this shell. Uh, so again, it's, it's easy to make, it's inexpensive, uh, it requires, again, easy to make a uh, little skill, and it prevents uh, respiratory dispersions, or it minimizes the impact, I should say, of respiratory dispersions due to the impermeable nature of it. So three, it has to be impermeable, and four, it has to be disposable. So I can have 30 of these and wear them after interacting with one person after another and toss them. Okay, so that's, uh, that's, that's the big idea. This is the protective shell that I created. And uh, I have instructions on how to make it in one of my other videos. You can also find instructions as well as more information on my website, www.abrighttoday.com. Again, that's abrighttoday.com. If there's someone you'd like to protect, please share this video. Thank you and be safe.